Hey guys, Steve here, Dovetails and Dados. I wanted to take a minute um, and do a follow-up video on the Narex Premier chisels that I picked up a few months ago. Um, I've been using them rather consistently over the last few months, and I have to say I am still impressed with them. Uh, there were a couple little things that I changed um, as I've had them, and that is mainly the biggest one is the fact that when I first got them I would sharpen the whole bevel from that was beveled from the factory that left the edge quite dull um, quickly it wouldn't um, it wouldn't hold a good sharp edge for for long especially working in hardwoods like oak I was working on oak projects at the time and it just it dulled they dulled very quickly so to combat that, I started putting a micro bevel on it. I'm not sure if you can see it, the little difference in the um, sheen there uh, where the edge is polished. But, uh, you know, it's like a four or five degree bevel. Not much, but it made a huge difference in how well these chisels held their edge. On that note, I will say that I wish the steel they used was just slightly stronger, harder. Um, you know, I sharpen these about once a week, the ones that I use regularly, sometimes twice a week if need be. Um, but they're very easy to get a good edge on, but even with the micro bevel, I can't help but wonder if they are just a little soft. Um, but other than that, I have been very impressed with them. The handles are holding up well. No loose, no loose uh, joints on the handles where the chisel meets the handle. Um, and I, I did get a Shop Fox mallet. Uh, it's like a 24 ounce mallet that I've been wrapping on the ends of them with, and they just seem to really be a high quality product for the money. Um, obviously in the back of my mind, I have to wonder if a set of Lee Nilsons, uh, would be worth it. Um, you know, I think if you're starting out in the hobby or you're just looking for a inexpensive set of chisels to use on a regular basis, this is a perfect starting point. I mean, the backs were all pretty flat from the factory. I did go ahead and hone up the backs just to make sure they were flat. Um, really, I don't have any complaints with them at all. Um, the only complaint that I would maybe have, and it may be because I have little smaller hands, is I wish the handles were just a touch smaller, but not. It, it's not an inconvenience. It's just a preference, I think. Um, all in all, they've been a great set of chisels, so if you're in the market for an entry-level set of chisels that won't break the bank, I highly recommend them. Uh, I've used them to cut all kinds of wood, all kinds of joinery, and they just seem to be pretty solid for the money. So, you know, other than uh, getting the sharpening sequence down and the bevel angle right, I have had zero issues with them. Um, I guess in my mind, there's no reason to believe that these chisels won't last a uh, quite a long time. So, anyways, that's it for now. Stay tuned to the channel. We have, I recently purchased a Hawk Iron and Chip Breaker for my number five Stanley. I'm anxious to see the difference that that makes. I also am going to be doing a review on the Lee Nelson Block Plane, which honestly, doesn't really need a review. It's a, we all know that Lee Nilsson makes high quality tools, but uh, that's what's coming up. So uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, share. We would appreciate it. Take care guys.